Hi, here with Chris, cooking index to appendix, and this is the very first session. By now you should have read my blog, um, and you'll probably have a very good understanding of the fact that for 2012, 2013, I'm going to be cooking out of a book called Wings Across America by Chef Armand, and the challenge is to cook 192 recipes over the course of a year. 150 of these recipes is your favorite food, and that's chicken wings. So if we take a look at the ingredients that I have here today, we've got the actual chicken wings. As you can see, I've separated them into the winglets and the drumlets. A tip here is to always salt and dry your wings, gives them an extra little bit of flavor and crunch when you're cooking them. If we look at the core ingredients, you can see it's quite a simple recipe. The recipe is called Adrian Duck Maple Wings. We've got Jack Daniels Black Label Whiskey. We've got Adrian maple syrup, pepper, salt, barbecue sauce. I use Stubbs barbecue sauce mainly because that's my favorite sauce from Texas. And then we've got the one and only hot sauce, Frank's Original. Those are the ingredients. As you can see, it's a very simple recipe. The key to this recipe is to cook the wings really well and to make sure you don't overcook the basting. It's a fried recipe. So what we're gonna do now is go over to the stove and get these wings cooking. As you can hear, there's a nice little sizzle. We're over a medium heat. We're not too hot. And we're gonna cook these very lightly for about 10 to 15 minutes. You don't wanna overcrowd the pan, just enough to get them going. In about 10 minutes time, we're gonna come back, those should be nice and brown, and we'll get this recipe on fire. See you then. about 10 minutes now, maybe a little bit over. Um, sometimes you can go as long as 10 to 15. As you can see now, the wings are fairly well um, crisp on the outside. They're nice and brown. I've already checked them on the inside, so they are very well cooked. We've got a few phases left to go. Um, this is probably my favorite phase. We're gonna take the whiskey. We're gonna add it. You're gonna be very careful here, because we're gonna add a little bit of flame. It's gonna go on fire. Don't panic. It's only for about 30 seconds. But it won't go crazy. And there we have it. Woo! Yeah, baby! And as you can see, it doesn't go for too long. Pretty cool, pretty scary. But um, that'll die out. And that'll add a really, really amazing flavor. That's actually my fire alarm just gone off. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back for five seconds. I'm going to turn it off and then we're going to come right back. Okay? Okay, so we're back. Just turn the fire alarm off. Sorry about that. We're getting an amazing aromatic flavor coming off the top here. So we're almost done. Pretty much now, the last phase. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of these wings out, just chuck them in a little tray. Once they're off the plate, we're gonna add all the ingredients. So if you can remember where we started earlier, that gives us barbecue sauce, maple syrup, and a bit of hot sauce. And then what we'll do is we'll let that cook a little bit. Normally it takes about two or three minutes. We'll add a little bit of butter. That'll melt, thicken it up, make it really, really rich. Once that's done, we've got a beautiful basting. We'll take that and just drivel it all over the top of these wings. Let them cool. And we've got our first chicken wing amazing dinner. So let's get that ingredients in here. And start with the barbecue sauce. As you can see, it's a nice and thick one. Forget, and you can see maple is nice and runny, yeah? Original syrup, a little bit thicker. So you can see the difference there. We're gonna add a little bit of butter to stock until we get a bit of heat. It says a dash of Frank's. I'm known for having quite a big dash. Play it as flavor. So we're gonna let that cook off. The next time you see me, we're gonna be looking at this beautiful chicken wing marinated with this beautiful sauce and we're gonna taste them, and that's gonna be the decider. See you then. Welcome back. So, as you can see, we've got a little dish here that's empty of wings, and this dish is now full. I've basted all the wings, they look beautiful, they smell amazing, they've cooled down. What I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna get in here, I'm gonna taste them. I'm a wing expert, so I can do this with one hand, but get a bit of a smell, it smells beautiful. The whiskey not too overpowering, but you can really just get that flavor coming through. I'm going to give it a taste. 
My friends, this is one to try at home. As you can see, it's nice and quick. I'm going to have to leave you now because I've got to get stuck in a little bit more. See you later.